If you haven't seen Good Omens yet, you've officially found a new series to binge watch on Amazon Prime Video. The first season of the fantasy slash comedy was a serious hit, and now season two is set to be released in summer 2023. Good Omens was written and created by Neil Gaiman and is based on he and the late Terry Pratchett's 1990 novel of the same name. The show follows the angel, Aziraphale, played by Michael Sheen and an airy demon named Crowley, portrayed by David Tennant, and their journey as they attempt to save Earth from an apocalypse brought on by the Antichrist. The show also features famous faces like John Hamm, Jack Whitehall, and Francis McDormand. While another well-known actor has a voice role in the series, but we don't see him. Do you know who it is? Whether or not you know the answer to that question, there are secrets about good omens that I bet you never knew. From who could have played the main characters at one point, to shocking hints about the upcoming season from Neil Gaiman himself. So, if you want to discover more about this unique series, these are some things you didn't know about good omens here for you on Famous Life. Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett cameos if you're not familiar with how creator of the series Neil Gaiman looks, it may be easy to miss his cameo in Good Omens. In fact, he has two cameos in the series, but funnily enough, they're in both the same scene. After being dumped by Aziraphal and exposed by the angels, Crowley hides from his fellow demons in a nearly empty movie theater watching a cartoon. Neil had formerly revealed details of the cameo, explaining, Episode 4, look out for a scene in a small movie theater where Crowley is watching a cartoon about bunnies. Not only will you see me passed out dead drunk in the audience, but all of the voices of the bunnies are me. You can spot Neil to Crowley's right slumped in front of the movie. On the film screen, Hester takes over one of the rabbits to threaten Crowley, and it's Neil who voices Hester in this cartoon form. Good Omens also gives a meaningful nod to Gaiman's late, great co-author Terry Pratchett, who passed away in 2015. Neil explained Terry's hat is hanging in the Azira Falls bookshop along with Terry's scarf. We hung it in the bookshop so that Terry would always be there. Benedict Cumberbatch is the voice of Satan. This next fact might be obvious to some, but in case you didn't know, Benedict Cumberbatch is the voice of Satan in Good Omens. Just like Cumberbatch's portrayal of Smog the Dragon in The Hobbit, his voice fits the terrifying character well. When thinking about who could do justice for Satan's voice, the only name that popped up in Neil Gaiman's mind was Benedict's, but not for the reason you might think. He said, It was from the point of view going, okay, you're in a show which Francis McDormand is God, and we need somebody who can act, who is not just going to be blown off the screen by the idea of Francis McDormand. I was sitting there going, who has the vocal range? In Good Omens, Satan is a 500 foot tall figure who looks scary, but Gaiman says he actually wanted to depict the human side of the creature. So when Satan appears, in the sixth and final episode, he's having an intimate conversation with his son, the Antichrist, after being absent from most of the child's life. Originally, Gaiman shares he read Satan's lines, but very quickly knew they needed something much better. Then thought of Cumberbatch. Neil had seen him previously perform at a London charity where he read famous letters throughout history. Neil revealed, I just watched him act and went, this is magic, this is absolutely amazing, and so when I started thinking, okay, who can I find? Who could give me this performance in a small enough space. Benedict was simply my first choice. Luckily, Good Omens director Douglas McKinnon had worked with Benedict on BBC's Sherlock and had his contact information. So Gaiman took a chance, shot the actor an email, and the next thing he knew, Cumberbatch was in the recording studio. The origin of the Good Omens story. In case you're wondering where the idea for Good Omens came from in the first place, Neil Gaiman spoke about the best-selling novel he co-wrote with the late great Sir Terry